There's been a misunderstanding. You're here too early. We agreed to meet today, so we've come today. Supplies are all hauled in and the crew's raring to work. We'll start just as soon as our lovely directress gets round to deciding on the decoration. But Dandelion doesn't even have the coin to pay you. Turns out he does now, or soon will. At any rate, he's working on it. See? It's all peachy. So will you finally decide what style you want for this interior? Why are you asking me? Well, the lovely lady seems to be having a hard time deciding. And Master Dandelion said he was torn between boudoir style and theater decor. But that he'd let us know just as soon as we arrived. Now we're here, but no decision's been made. And the lady's horribly surprised she's to choose. <laughs> Though apparently this whole renovation's for her sake. For me? Well, it's not for me. Now, would you please decide where I bust a vessel? I've no idea what Dandelion would like. Get up. You've known him longer. Say something. You're both stage artists, and cabaret's a form of theater. Interior should reflect that. A wonderful choice it is. At last. Gentlemen, you're done lollygagging. Get to work. Guess this cabaret's the real thing. Ever since Dandelion inherited this place, he's talked about it constantly. I just never expected him to take action. And so quickly. Who knows? Might even settle down now. We'll have to keep an eye on the business. Who would have known? Despite what people say about him, Dandelion approaches life very rationally. True enough. Adheres to the principle that a life enjoyed is a life well lived. You need more. I'm not. I mean that. Nothing wrong with the principle. Dandelion just knows how to enjoy life. It's a good thing. Dandelion can also be responsible. He always pays anyone who works for him on time. And he's never missed a performance. Sure hope your opening won't be the first. He's still not here. Well, he said as soon as he got the coin, he'd go see Polly, our choreographer. She's missed the last few rehearsals. I certainly hope he's not gotten into trouble. Anything's possible with Dandelion. Let me see if I can't find him. <sighs> Greetings, Ibeer. Greetings, Geralt. How might I be of help? My sword ready yet? It is. Behold and admire. A sword to outshine all others. Well, this was worth the wait. Thank you, Ibeer. It is I who thank you for everything. A brothel! What's the ruckus about? Polly and her half-brained fiancé. They're fighting. She's the only one in this town who knows anything about choreography, and that lummox won't let her work for me. Oh, oh, hold on. What are you doing here? We were going to meet at the Rosemary. We were, but you didn't show. Priscilla started to worry, so I came to see how you were doing. Priscilla started worrying about me? That's so nice. Less for her than for you, I'm sure. So let's get back. Did you not hear what's going on in there? We gotta help Polly. Why do beautiful women always end up with such dicks? No idea. Stand back, I'll break the door down. Wait, do we have to destroy her house? She keeps a spare key around here somewhere. How would you know she keeps a spare key around here? It's not as if we started working together yesterday. Before Polly joined forces with Hubio, you'd visit her often. I'd hide out here while Priscilla and Polly rehearsed at the Rosemary and Time. They worked on the dance numbers I composed. So, Polly's not one of your. I never mix business and pleasure. The one exception being Priscilla. Who you were just saying is worried about us. So, enough of the chatter and start looking. Not here. Can you find anything? Uh, the key. Whoa! What the devil's this? Get out of my ass! Watch it and leave the woman alone. What the? She's my betrothed. But I'm not your property. 
I love her. I'll not let her sway her ass in his brothel. Whoa, slow down there a minute. This is clearly one gigantic misunderstanding. One I can clear up in the blink of an eye. Shove your excuses up your ass. Shut off, or I'll split your skull. My friend asked you nicely, so please be courteous in return and hear him out, or we'll settle this another way. All right, talk. Hubio, right? Polly's told me so much about you. She said you're erudite and have an open mind. You said that? Well, there's a truth to it. My mind's the open salt, but its open saltedness ends when my betrothed starts wagging her ass around brothels. Get out of here, both of you. Let him finish. There's no brothel involved. You see, friend, Geralt just hit the nail on the head. For what you have there is the old publicity placard. Old? Very. From a time when my establishment was under different management. I, however, would never let any indecency take place in my cabaret. My very reputation precludes it. So, what's all this about? Your betrothed is a first-class artiste, and I want to offer her a position worthy of her talents. She's to be my choreographer, and that in turn means she'll receive a share of the proceeds from every performance she choreographs. You mean to say, coin? And fame. No flirting required. You have my word. Hmm. Suppose, in that case... I knew you'd agree. It's settled then. See you at the Rosemary, Polly. Well, I'm off. I'll catch up to you. Whew. Never expected that to go so well. You handled it well, Dandelion. Man was body in your hands once you called him erudite. In negotiation, as in combat, the key is to find your opponent's weak spot and exploit it to the hilt. So, time to head back? I've still got to stop by Rotlex. Commissioned some new placards from him a while ago, but Hubio came across the old version. Plowing artists got some serious explaining to do. Who's Rotlex? Never heard of him? Hank Rotlick, famous portrait artist? Commissioned a portrait artist to paint your placards? Henry's an old friend who needed the coin. And I decided we needed new placards to promote the opening performance. Seats won't fill themselves, you know. I'll go see Rotlick. You head back to the Rosemary, or Priscilla will have my head. Really? You'd go? No, said that for the hell of it. Tell me where he lives. Portside. See you soon. Looking for Rotlick. You ain't alone. Damn halflings in debt to half the city. But I'm here to scrape mine for the carcass is picked clean. It's not enough for everyone, so bugger off. Feeding time's first come, first served. Take what you want. I'm just here for some placards. You diff. Didn't you hear me? This is all mine now. Fuck off, freak. Here, I thought we'd resolve this peacefully. What? Lost your nerve? You regret this, mutant. He. Same place as always. Vagal Bud Estate. Losing his last crowns at the races. See? Wasn't that easy. Could have said so right away. You, Rodlick? Henri Rodlick? Artist, painter, debtor, and martyr to my art. At your service. Dandelion sent me. Oh, yes. Tell him his placards are done and safely hidden away. 
Yet, alas, I cannot fetch them, as a group of angry creditors has seized my home. Think I might have run into one of them. Then you know my predicament. And now, Count de Louverton has offered me the chance to win it all back. I'm to wager on a race. What's there to worry about? This is your chance to settle up, get a clean slate. We've had a spell of bad luck lately. Should I agree to de Louverton's offer and lose, I shall be in bondage to him for all time. Let me pay off your debt. No strings attached. Thank you. I, I never expected this. May I ask to what I owe this generosity? Let's just say I like to do a good deed from time to time. Can we get those placards now? I'll bring them to the Rosemary in time. Just as soon as I settle my obligations. Fine. See you there. Dark in G major and... <gasps> I told you, the piece is sad. Melancholy. It needs a minor key. But I wanted to. To ruin everything. We'll start an email. Well, well. See, the crew's been hard at work. Not bad. I love it. Especially the, uh, accoutrements on the wall. What about Rotlick? Did you get the placards? Rotlick said he'd bring them on his own. Should be here soon. Great! The best way I can think of to promote the chameleon. Never mentioned wanting to change the name. Rosemary and Time wasn't all that. But it conjured images of Tamarian cuisine served by waitresses in peasant garb. Chameleon's a lot better for a cabaret, apart from which it emphasizes that the place has undergone a transformation. Just a better ring to it all round. So when's the opening? Soon. We start our dress rehearsal in an hour. I just need to knit back home for my dress. Thanks for everything. Don't mention it. Seems my cabaret dreams are about to come true. So, around to celebrate? I'm buying. Why not? That's my boy. The foreman mentioned he saw you and Priscilla talking. He saw right. And... she say anything about me? She said something that made me think she's not entirely normal. What? That you're responsible, got your feet planted firmly on the ground. You're pulling my leg. Not this time. One thing's eating me. How do you manage to get the loan from Sophronia? Ugh, oh, wasn't easy. She got so excited about our performance, I had to read to her for four hours. Four hours from the cloak and the dagger. You mean you didn't? Are you crazy? Who do you think I am? Master Dandelion! Priscilla! She's... What? Speak, man! She's badly, uh, been attacked! They, they took her to Vormerius Hospital! Attacked? She's hurt? Geralt, come with me, please! Of course, let's go.